So this football we're looking at was given to a member of the 1913 St. Cloud High School um, team. His name was Dan Fouquet. Um, he was a right tackle and captain of the football team. Um, so the St. Cloud football, High School football team um, played you know, a number of teams throughout uh, Minnesota. Um, and throughout the year, they outscored their opponents 266 to 16. Okay, so they're um, very dominant. They team. were dominated for quite a while. They only lost one game, which um, happened to be to um, Hamlin University's basically second team or JV team. Um, so, you know, they had, whenever they played high school teams, they were pretty dominant. Good representation, again, of how sports have kind of developed over time. Um, you know, the equipment that they have, the stories that they can tell. Um, you know, we even got a number of people who have autographed um, this football. Unfortunately, due to some of the light um, deterioration on it, we can't really make out a lot of what's kind of going on here. Uh, but, you know, it's a great story and just how, um, you know, how sports have evolved and how, you know, how important it is to the community yeah. um, with these artifacts. Yeah, this is even predates Tech High School. Wow. We've had about 30 years because we got this about 1985. So about 30 years it's been here. Not a great deal. I mean, we'd have, you know, some, we have a few football things. Um, we have, you know, um, rocks, baseball. We have a number of rocks, um, old, older St. Cloud rocks teams. Um, we have a number of town, or a few town teams. Um, we have like a farming town team, baseball uniform. Um, some of the St. Cloud teams. Um, so we, we have some um, sports memorabilia we have, but overall it probably is only a couple percentage points of our entire collection.